Swole Benji here. Today is the Great Axe build. This is my favorite sustain build in the game, and I'm gonna show it off before I talk about it, so let's just, let's just get, well, let me eat food first. We got a lifesteal roast. I'm gonna talk about this build, don't worry. I'm gonna gather everybody up. I'm gonna auto attack there, and, and now we're just gonna spin. And this is a static dungeon, by the way. These mobs are tuned for groups of three to five players. And uh, look at my health. I want I want you to focus on my health. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take some danger. I'm gonna press R, and look at my health. It's just gonna come right back. Although I've already killed most of these m monsters. But uh, this I didn't even use my defensives either. I'm gonna talk about this build. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this and what's going on, what passives to use, and all that fun stuff. But uh, just, just give me a sec to kill this. Okay. So while we're auto attacking this, let's go over the. Well, it's gonna be very quick. Let's go over the build. Uh, the weapon is Great Axe, okay? Now, you don't have to use Raging Blades here. It does help. It increases your damage. Let me loot this and see what we got. Nothing good. Gotta get that silver. 6,000 silver. Oh, boy. Um, Alright, so. The build. The second Q is Rending Spin. This gives you this circle AoE attack. Alright, now... Raging Blades, you don't unlock this to like 60 or 70, I believe. It is level 70. So you, it's going to be a while before you get this, but oh man, it just a few days of playing, man. That's it, okay? Th this increases, it does damage, it increases your damage of all your other abilities. You can use this as a steroid for your armor, which I'm going to go over, or you can just use Adrenaline Boost. It's fine, all right? And for passives, this one's important. Use Increased de Defense, all right? Having 105 additional resistance for two seconds is huge. This is how you can solo group dungeon mobs way easier. You can absolutely smash dungeons with this build. It's not the fastest build. If you want the two fastest builds, check out the last two videos on my channel, all right? Now, armor, Hellion Jacket. This thing is my favorite armor in the whole game, all right? Because this thing has life-stealing aura. It... it the more damaged you are, the more damage it does, and the more you life steal. This thing will heal you up to five enemies at a time in a big circle around you. It's it, it deals good damage, it heals you. It's great with the damage passive. Okay. Guardian Boots. This thing makes you grow big, increases your max health by 100%, and you get some move speed. Now, what this means is that every time you take damage while grown, when you ungrow, it's as if you only took 50% damage. So let's just gather all these guys up. Get these little archers in here and uh, do some spins. Now I know I haven't went over fully the rest of the build yet, but uh, we can do that while we fight. That's how that's how tanky this build is. Like I don't have to fully pay attention to what's going on. All right, so the helmet. We got the scholar cal. Okay, scholar cal is great because this is how you get your mana back with energy shield. This also gives you armor and magic resistance. Oh, here comes a player. I want to do some really big juicy pulls, and I don't want them to mess up my video. So I'm trying to I'm trying to chug ahead. There's some really big pulls I want to show you here, and just how sustainable this build actually is, right? Now the cool thing about pork or roast pork is that every time I attack with any of my abilities, I receive life back. This is how you sustain heavy damage from lots of targets. All right. Now for the cape, you can really use whatever you want. I like demon cape because when you pull a big bunch of mobs, it puts a big puddle on the ground, a, a lava puddle, literally, uh, that will, you know, deal damage to a bunch of enemies and heal you for all the damage it does combined with the roast pork. And that's the items. I just carry healing potion. You can use resistance potions, but let's do a big boy pull here. Remember, these are two, th th these are group mobs, okay? So I'm gonna wait for this guy to pull me. So there's the yoink. I'm gonna press W, Q, E, and that's gonna spin. All right. Now I'm gonna press D and I have a shield up. So I'm taking less damage, all right? Now I'm below 20%. I'm gonna press R and here's my life stealing aura, right? Now I could have combined this with W so I would damage steroid my R. And if you've watched my previous videos, you'll notice that damage steroids on armor activations allow your armor to deal that amount of damage even after they've worn off, okay? So let me just finish these mobs. Now, like I said, this is not a speed clearing build. This is a high sustain build. Now, yeah, you could sustain more with like a healing staff, of course, but you wouldn't clear it. 
like as far as sustained builds go, this is my favorite because it, it, it lets me be lazy. I can AoE things down and I can heal myself, okay? Uh, I've got all my cooldowns back, so let's do another. I kind of don't want to do a big pull without all my health, but I don't need it. I can just pull all of these guys. It's fine. Activate my shield, you know, just for now. Press W, press Q, press R, press E. Look at their health. They get melted. Now, guys, Great Axe was heavily nerfed, okay? If you played this game a few months ago, Great Axe was twice as long in its spin duration, okay? So, the devs thought that this was way too overpowered, okay? And they nerfed it, but it's still pretty good. It's still heckin' good. Like, I'm not even struggling, and you could argue that it's because I'm in full H3, alright? I'm in full Aether, yes. I don't have maximum, I have maximum spec on Great Axe and nothing else, okay? But, uh, <laughs> the, you can use this for solo dungeons, you you can tank, or you can you can clear group dungeons with less spec, and, and not in full Aether. That's how, that's how tanky and sustainable this build is. Now these, these darn ghosts, they like to suck the mana dry, so they're kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm just gonna kill this one real quick. Because he's going to start mana leeching. And when you kill him, you get your mana back, so that's a cool thing. But uh, without, once I dump my cape on him, he's pretty much dead. There we go. And uh, the, the biggest pull is up ahead, so don't click off the video yet, guys. I want to show you the big, juicy pull, man. It's a good one. I'm trying to avoid these patrols. But yeah, let me just kill this ghost, get my mana back. Okay, cool, cool. And uh, let me just figure out looting. <laughs> I know. There's really not a lot to it. You uh, you use your your giant boots and your D. Don't use them at the same time. You know you know like space space out your your defensives. Okay. And if you press W before you press R, man, you're gonna heal big. Okay, let's let's go. Big pulls. Big big boy pulls. Look at all these mobs. But we're not getting more. Put on the shield. Let's go. So we got the shield going. All right, I'm gonna grow big here. That way, I'm taking half damage. Now, I don't want to activate my armor while I'm big. I want to wait until I go, grow small. And there we go. Press. All you gotta do to heal is press R. Look at that. <laughs> it's simple. It's simple. It's easy, right? And if you're wondering, is, is this worth? Whoops. Is this worth farming the freaking chest? It's not. I've done the math multiple times in multiple tests. It's really not. Now, what areas would you use Great Axe in? If I wanted, I could take a similar build, maybe just flat 8 or 8.1 or whatever, and, and go to a tier 7 red zone static dungeon. And, oh man, oh, dang. That's a, okay, that's a, I was talking crap, right? But look at that, we got a tier 8 relic in here. 97k, that would have been 150k a week ago. Oh, I don't want the tier 2 armor. Ew. But yeah, with premium, you'd be getting way more silver, way more drops. But even then, it, it's better to solo dungeons right like right now than to do this, to be honest. And yes, this is the build that I, I would use to solo group dungeons, right? And uh, yeah, we're feeling journals. We're feeling journals. Uh, and that's the build, guys. It, it's a pretty simple, great sustain build. You can swap out the cape for other things like Carleone or Thetford. I use the demon cape because it synergizes best with the roast bork. That's how I keep from dying. I, I wanted I want to do more big pulls. Let's just, let's just grab as many dudes as we can. We got multiple ghosts. We're not gonna have any mana, but you know what? Look at that, four ghosts. How many ghosts can we get? All right. Most builds would just die. Oh, I used my freaking helmet kind of early there. I'm I'm afraid. Right. I gotta use my my R before I run out of mana because they're gonna drain all my mana and then uh, I won't be able to cast anything. Look at that, we killed all the mobs, we got the ghosts left. It's gonna be a little tricky, but they're all bleeding. Okay, there we go, now we get our mana back, because as long as one dies, you know, they drop the, they drop your mana back. Four mana stealing ghosts, and we didn't even run out of mana. It's, it's that simple, guys. I even used my helmet wrong. We still made it. This, this build, is, it's just too fun. It's super lazy. I can watch anime while doing these big boy pulls. Now, if you're wondering what actual dungeons would you use this in, every Halloween, there's a Halloween-themed dungeon. And, uh, that's the one that you really want to use. Like, look at that, I just pressed R, and look at my health! I'm fully healed 
I just went from near death to being fully healed. I've got a defensive, right? I've got a full defensive, and then I've got another defensive. And by the time these guys even get my health somewhat low, I'll be able to fully heal again, right? They can't kill me. They just can't. It's simple. It's fun. It's effective. It's easy. Anyway, I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Leave a comment and leave a like on the video. If you do both, it's an algorithm combo. Really helps out. Also, 80% of you aren't subscribed. So subscribe right now. Click the subscribe button. You can always unsubscribe later. It's completely free. It doesn't charge you anything. So you might just help me out. Anyway, as always, be a bro. Stay swole. Make sure you return to shopping carts. I'll see you in the next one.